Okay, now we're going to perform coupling section, okay? For your coupling section, it's everything that has to do with coupling the uh, trailer and the tractor together, okay? I separated the tractor and the trailer, as you can see. Okay, so I can give you a better look at all the parts, okay? So, uh, coupling. We're gonna begin with our airlines and the electrical lines, all right? You have your airlines and your electrical line. Want to make sure that they're properly mounted secure, that the airlines are properly seated to the cab. Our electro electrical line is also properly seated to the cab, okay? Our airlines should have no abrasion bubbles or cuts and not leaking, okay, when they're, when they're connected. Um, and our electrical line should have no bare or frayed wires. And there should be no sign of electrical tape that would indicate that it was uh, worked on, okay? And these, these lines should not be dragging the catwalk when it's connected to the trailer. It should be above the catwalk. It should not be dragging, okay? And if we walk here to the trailer, show you the glad hands, right? So the glad hands uh, from the airlines get connected to here, okay? We'll talk about those in a minute. I just wanna show you the grommets. We have rubber grommets that are properly mount secured, uh, not cut, torn, or dry rotted, and you should hear no leaks, okay? When you come here to the airlines and look at the grommets, And glad hands, that's the glad hand. And you have your grommets in the inside. Probably not secure, not bent, cracked, or broken. Grommets should not be cut, torn, or dry rotted. And you should hear no leaks, okay? Our electrical line gets connected to the trailer, which I'll show you in a minute, okay? This also should be probably not secured and locked in place on the trailer. So if we go to the trailer, This is where it connects to, the electrical box, okay? And there should be no missing pins. Seven pins, none of them should be missing, all right? Now we'll come back here to continue our coupling. Being that this tractor is equipped with a sliding fifth wheel, we must mention that it has uh, the sliding fifth wheel airline and cylinder. They're properly mounted secured. The cylinder is not bent, cracked, or broken, not leaking. The airline has no abrasion bubbles or cuts and not leaking, okay? Then we want to mention our safety pins that are locked in place. This prevents the, fifth, the sliding fifth wheel from moving back and forth, okay? Then we have our platform, all right? This is our platform where everybody, everything sits on. It's all properly mount secured not bent, cracked, or broken, and it has all of its hardware, okay, hardware. Okay, we'll talk about our skid plate. This is our skid plate, properly mount secured, not bent, cracked, or broken, properly greased, okay, and there should be no uh, daylight between the skid plate and the apron when they're coupled, okay. There should be no daylight, no gap. Then we have our release arm, properly mount secured, not bent, cracked, or broken, and it should be locked in place, okay? And the lock position, play, uh, it will be pushed in. Right now it's pulled out, so it's released since I separated the trailer and the tractor, okay? And then we talked all about this area here. Oh, we have a uh, the pivot pin. This also should, uh, should be uh, in place, uh, not been cracked or broken, properly mount secured, and not missing. Okay, then we're gonna get to our uh, the kingpin. If we look at under the trailer, we have the kingpin, properly mount secured, not been cracked or broken, right? Then we have our locking jaws that should be uh, locked around the shank. This is the shank, this groove here is the shank of the kingpin. This is where the locking jaw locks around okay and that's over here
the locking jaw is in here, inside of here, right? 